Hello everyone, my name is Berta and welcome back to my channel. Today we are making a Valentine's Day inspired sim. I really hope this video will be up on time. If it is, I hope you are having a good Valentine's Day. If it's not on time, I hope you had a good Valentine's Day. Whether you spent it with your loved one or with friends or if it was just a normal day for you, I hope it was a good day. For me, every year me and my boyfriend, we agree on not doing anything for Valentine's Day because I just don't really like it. He's not that much into it. So every year we say, we're not doing anything, right? And he's like, yeah, right. And yet today he came home with flowers and some croissants. And I was like, this is so sweet. I really love you. This is so sweet. But we said we weren't going to do anything and now I don't have anything for you. So I was feeling a bit weird because he brought me this stuff and I didn't do anything for him. But that, it was very lovely of him and I really enjoyed the croissants and I don't have a vase so the flowers are in the sink. <laughs> it's ridiculous but it's in a pan in the sink. We, we don't have a vase. <laughs> he didn't think that one through. Anyhow, with the sim, I tried to do a few new things. For example, the mouth preset that I used, which shows the teeth. I had never done something like that before and I've really wanted to do something like that for a long time. So I decided to finally do it. And I chose a new custom content hair color. You can see it's a bit darker than the EA red hair color, but I really love this color. So I wanted to work with it. And in the beginning, I sat down to make this sim and I spent hours trying to make a cutesy sim. Like I wanted to have her to give her blonde hair or pink hair and give her cute clothes with pink and reds and hearts and skirts and all that stuff. So I sat down for hours, but I just, I couldn't make it like the inspiration didn't come to me. I tried so many things with so many different sims and it just never looked good. And I, I wasn't happy with how these sims were looking. And I was like, okay, well, maybe cutesy sims are not for me. So I ditched the idea of making pink cutesy sims with skirts and blonde hair and stuff like that. And I started all over again and I decided to just go with the flow, do whatever I felt like. I did use some inspiration, like things that make me think of Valentine's Day. For example, the red hair is inspired by the Valentine's Day. The shirt that she has for everyday wear is with lace, which I think is quite romantic and make me think of Valentine's Day. And she has a necklace with a heart and stuff like that. So she is inspired by Valentine's Day, but she's not cute and pink. In this video, I'm just uh, going from like the one outfit to the other and switching in between all the time. So please ignore that. I was kind of chaotic. But um, as you can see, I did try to use the shorts with the hearts for her summer outfit. And I really wanted to use that shirt as well. So I put them together and later on I gave her some accessories with hearts and stuff. So she has one summer summer outfit, I mean the hot weather outfit, um, with lots of hearts. But guys, I am very curious uh, what your thoughts on Valentine's Day are, because I know that many people really like it and there are also people who don't like it. And personally, I am one of the people that don't really like it. I just think it's another day where we as a society decide that we can consume all this ridiculous crap <laughs> that we don't need and we'll probably throw away later or keep it and have our house be a mess. And I get the significance behind Valentine's Day and the gifts that people give, but it's just not my thing. It doesn't align with my values. So. I don't do things like that, but um, I would love to hear if you are on Team Valentine's Day or not. Also, if you have like date plans or anything, please let me know. 
or if you have had a date, if this video is up late, um, because I would like some date ideas actually. Because me and my boyfriend, we don't go out on dates very often, so um, I would like to do something. And I'm not a big fan of going out to eat in a restaurant or something. Just because with my ADHD, I get overwhelmed really quickly. So if there's lots of people talking, I just can't enjoy the time that we're spending together. So I'm not a big fan of those things. So if you have any suggestions, things you did, things you liked, or things you think I would like... Please let me know in the comments. For me, today has been a long day. I had to start work at 7 in the morning, so I had to wake up at 5 because I need an hour to wake up and get ready. And then it's an hour to get to my work. So I woke up very early and I did my shifts at my new job, which was kind of tiring because it's a new job. I need to learn a lot of things still. And they gave me a shift that I had never done before without also planning someone else at the same time who does know how to do the things for that shift. So I was like, huh, I don't know what to do. So I had a quite a stressful, not really stressful, but chaotic um, morning. And then afterwards I had to go to university and then I had to work on this video because I was late as always <laughs> because I spent so much time on making a sim that didn't work out so um, that was my day today and my boyfriend brought me flowers which I still think is very cute here you'll see me struggling to find a tattoo that I thought would fit her because I really wanted to give her a tattoo I don't know why I just thought a tattoo would suit her but I didn't know which one and I downloaded lots of tattoos, but I almost never used them. So I didn't know what kind of tattoos I had in my game. So I had to go like look at all of them and decide which one I liked. I wasn't sure if I wanted like the small rose that she has on her shoulder or the big rose that she has on her back. So I added both of them until I could decide. And in the end, I decided for the geometric rose tattoo. I think that's also the name. So if you want to look it up. You can. It's on the same resource. But um, yeah, I gave her a tattoo. <laughs> that was the point. Uh, one thing I, I was a, a little bit bummed about is that her most of her hairstyles cover her ears. And I wanted to use my heart earrings and stuff. And I couldn't really with all of the outfits. But um, no big deal. So for athletic where I gave her a cheerleader outfit. This wasn't the plan, but um, the red made me think of Valentine's Day. And then I was thinking, you know, this girl could be like in college being the cheerleader. Her traits are on the screen right now. You can see it. she's romantic, she loves art and she is confident. What do you call it? Self-assured. So I don't know why, but I link cheerleading to being self-assured, at least Cheerleaders always seem to be so self-assured when they are performing. I know that's not always true, but um, I don't know. I, I thought that was fitting and, you know, she would probably be at Foxbury. What do you think she would study if she would study at Foxbury? I don't know. I didn't think about that. Not robotics, maybe biology or history. Do they have history? Yes, I think they do. Maybe history. I'm not sure. I'm just rambling right now. So, also, I really wanted to give this, give her these jeans because I think they are so cute, with the little hearts and the rainbows. Ugh, I really love them. We have already done the sleepwear, but I just wanted to say, it took me a long time, but I really wanted to give her some spicy <laughs> sleepwear. If you get what I mean. And in the end, I think she looks gorgeous. She looks gorgeous overall, but um, I just really wanted to give her an, a sleep outfit like that. And I was very happy with the result. Um, I think she looks really sexy. I also wanted to quickly thank you all for the huge 
amount of support that I got on my last video, the micro home speed build. Y'all have been commenting like crazy and downloading it from the gallery like crazy. So thank you so much. I didn't expect that. We are nearing the end of the video. So I just want to cut it off right here. I would love to know your thoughts on this sim. I really put a lot of effort in it and personally I love her very much. So I would like to know if you like her too. I will make a CC list. It's probably not up yet when I post this video, but I will be making a CC list and I will put it in the description so you can download all the CC on this sim and you can put her in the game. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't already. You can follow me on my social media at SimmingBird, links will be in the description. The sim will be on the gallery, my origin ID is SimmingBird. Thank you all so much for watching, enjoy the screenshots and I will see you all next time. Bye!